Hello, my name is Kyle Greer. I am an online student with the game design course, Full Sail. This is Team Heliotropes Scraps game, and this is my level, A Risky Retrieval. It's a military installation layout, and we are tasked uh, with receiving a, or retrieving a briefcase containing microscope blueprints. So the player will come in, they need to get past this sealed gate, and they're informed that they need to activate the power for these lifts. So we'll follow a breadcrumb trail over to our first setup. Uh, this is the introduction to destructible objects. They're informed that the door looks fragile, and they need to bust it down with this debris. The player will do just that, and find the generator that will activate the lifts. There's some debris in the way here, and they'll just clear it out of the way. There's lots of hidden collectibles throughout this level if the player feels like exploring. Up here, they will reach the introduction to cable lifts. So that's set up. And go straight into the practice setup for cable lifts. More collectibles laying around. Now, the practice setup, it's going to break. Uh, that way the player cannot return that way. They have to find a way forward, so they can either jump or drop. We're going to jump across. So again, lots of collectibles hidden around all these objects. So we'll move into our practice for destructible objects. By now the player will have a good idea of what's going on. And here we will find our microscope blueprints. It's the objective. And back of power for the emergency escape lift. Then follow the breadcrumb trail to our mastery setup for destructible objects. Get up this final tower to our emergency escape lift that we have already powered. This is the mastery setup for the cable lifts. And we'll descend that into the level's exit. Hi, my name is Troy Madsen. I'm an online game design student at Full Sail University, and welcome to my level. In my level, the player is tasked with finding a metal ingot on the far side of a metal and machine company. The player must first make their way up the stairs into the facility and cross a debris floor. They can either jump across or utilize their grab mode to do so. Upon exiting, they will find the introduction to the first mechanic, the cable lift. The player must take the cable lift up towards the wooden walkways above and clear the debris that's blocking their path. Once above, the player will find the second mechanic, an introduction to the laser-guided platform that will move towards the floor if the player triggers the laser. Avoiding the laser will allow the player to progress forward to the next cable lift, where they can take it back to the ground. Once making it back to the ground, the player must clear gravinal debris to get to the next room, and practice their cable lift mechanic again, getting inside to once again get back up towards the wooden walkways above. Once on the wooden walkways, the player can either use the far lift, which is connected to a hidden collectible, or they can use the closer lift to progress further throughout the level. Once back on the ground floor, the player will go up the staircase and go through one more platform with a laser-guided system, making their way out towards the next portion of the level. In the next room, the player will find the master version of the cable lift mechanic. They must use the cable lift to proceed past the debris. Once at the, once at the top, the player can then exit the elevator and pass the master of the second mechanic, which is a laser-guided platform. They can either use the debris and jump over, or they could simply try and run and jump and hope they make it. Once across, the player will find another collectible and a cable lift that takes them back down towards the ground. Once on the ground, the player will proceed along the wall via the debris as a ramp to make it into the next room.
Once inside the next room, the player will find a twist of the second mechanic, a laser-guided platform, where the first laser will send the platform up, the second will send it back down. So the player must avoid that second laser. Once on the wooden walkways above, the player will notice there is a second cable lift if players find the mechanic too difficult. But the further lift will progress further throughout the level. Once at the bottom, the player must proceed up the staircase, remove some more gravel debris, and then once outside in the pathway, make their way up the last set of stairs into the shipping and receiving area. There's one collectible on the top of the stairs here, and then once they are inside, they can simply walk up towards the military truck and receive the ingot. And that's my level. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Cody Willard. I am an online student at Full Sail University for the game design program. My overall design for my level was a laboratory. And my actual overall objective was to get a microscope lens. And as you can see, I've got a pressure plate, which actually activates a hidden key. And once you get this key, you actually are able to unlock the doors. If you want to have them, enter through them. So next you're going to go left, and you're actually going to find the next pressure plate, which is right over there. Straight to the left. Step on the plate. Again, it will illuminate a new object. So <gasps> this basic mechanic was based off of holograms, but I think that it worked out very well. So, once you actually get the key, again, this comes with the concept of you have to actually pick up all the keys to be able to find the, uh, or to be able to access the next area. So, again, step on a plate, and a new hologram has been deleted, and a new key shows up. So, once you have both the blue keys, you can actually go through the door in the back. area there is a new mechanic which is toxic waste and in order to get rid of this toxic waste you have to go to this ventilation system turn on the vent and it'll turn off the actual toxic waste and allow you to continue without being damaged again you got another vent that you have to turn on to be able to filter this actual toxic waste again and now since you Toxic waste, you're done, you can open up the door. So again, toxic waste, but this one has a little bit of a twist being that you have to actually undo, you have to turn off and ventilate the actual toxic waste. And once you get all three of the vents, which the last one will be over here on the left, once you turn off all of the toxic waste, then what you have to do is you have to go back to the Tesla coil and you have to turn it off because the object that you're looking for is actually inside of the Tesla coil right beside it and you have to get it so we step on the pressure plate and it turns off the Tesla coil you grab the object that you were supposed to be getting and now that you've turned off the waste and you've turned off the Tesla coil you can activate the last and on this one again you have Toxic waste, which you need to ventilate. There's two of these. And you also have to... After you ventilate the second toxic waste, then what you're going to do is you're going to go over and you're going to actually use the pressure plate to turn off the pressure coils. And once you turn off both Tesla coil or the Tesla coil, then you're going to grab all three keys. And once you grab all three of those keys, you are able to exit the actual area. Now that you've turned off the waste, you've turned off the Tesla coil, and you've gathered all three keys, you can leave the building. My name is Abrea Wilson. I'm an online student at Forza University. The mission for the player is to find the old abandoned subway station and collect the scroll of secrets.
that contains everything that they need to build a new land. So he enters, he then sees a bunch of trash and notices that he sees a gate he has to crawl under. Once he sees the steps, he's going to see the introduction pressure plate, has to step on it just to open up the gate to tunnel one, collects a bunch of the microscopic screws, then he sees a lever. In order to shut off the booby traps, he has to then hit the lever make sure that it um turns up and down once he does that it opens up the gate for him to go through the actual water so you want to avoid the water as best as possible don't want to stay in there too long so you're just going to jump on the different rails and jump each and every one once you jump to that the player then is going to see a bunch of trash try to avoid as best as possible and collect more screws that contains um your collectibles he then sees the practice pressure plate this is going to open the hidden door on your right once you go in the hidden door you need to collect a couple of different screws right there around and then you're going to grab the key because you just entered it you found it once it keeps jumping try to avoid the water as best as possible it stays on to the left side go straight just to avoid things and then it's going to see the actual introduction for um, actual practice one for the lever the lever then turns on the light that light is going to set off the booby traps and turn them off so you can then enter the wall underneath crawl under you're going to see the subway car right there during that subway car you then see the Practice pressure plate as well, going all over to your left and going straight. Once you enter that place and that point, you are then going to cross in. And you're going to grab a couple of the screws as well. You grab the scroll as well. And then you're going to see a bunch of trash. You then see the mastery of the actual um, mechanical lever make sure that lights on because that's going to set off um turn off the booby traps and set off your opening your door you're going to want to get through that door once you get through that door you um go through the steps once you go through the steps you go down that's one of your objectives you go out the door and you just made it pass with the scroll of secrets and out of the subway station Hmm? <gasps> 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 